Hey, it's me again, Sorogi Pro, and I'm actually from the future. You see this one? I'm from the future. And I encountered a problem yesterday when I was trying to browse the internet. You might not encounter this problem yet, but later on in the future, you might be running into it also. So it will be good if you know how to quickly resolve this one, and that's what I'm going to show you today. So this is what happened. I opened my, uh, my browser and then type in facebook.com. And then it's actually loading very slow. So I know that there's something wrong with my internet today. Now, after this Facebook is loading for a while, it gave me DNS Pro finished next domain. And I also did a few refresh with this one and it gave me DNS Pro finished but config. Now I tried to open other websites like yahoo.com and reddit.com. As you can see here, yahoo.com is loading, but it's very, very slow. And I tried to open that reddit.com. It is slow. It kind of loads up, but it's not complete. Even Yahoo, you can see that one. Okay, so one of the main reasons why you're having these problems is that your ISP itself is having problems with their DNS services. That's one of the main reasons why. And we can quickly fix this one by changing the DNS IP address on our computer so that it's not going to use that IP DNS service settings that your ISP have given your router. Now these DNS servers actually play a major role in how fast you can browse the internet. So the faster the response from a DNS server, the faster you can browse the internet. For now, we're going to use the Google public DNS, which is 8.8.8 .8 and 8.8.4.4. .4. If you want to know more about this public DNS, which one you're going to use, you can check one of my videos up here. So we're going to go to our adapter right now. On the lower right corner, you can see our adapter here, right click open network and sharing. This page is going to come up. It's going to show you the active connection. Click that one and then this will come up. Click on properties and then select the internet protocol TCP IP. Click that one, this will come up. Now this is already set to obtain, so it's getting default IP addresses from your router. We're going to select use the following DNS server. We're going to put 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4 and then click OK. OK, close. We can actually go to details and see the changes we made. You can see it here 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4. We can close it one close and we can try to go for Facebook and then kaboom there you go let's try to go to yahoo.com or YouTube it's fast yahoo okay kaboom and then how about your reddit boom so it's actually faster right now so if you think I missed something or there's part of this video that you did not understand, let me know by dropping a comment down below. If you like more videos like this and it's your first time in my YouTube channel, just consider subscribing. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it to your friends, let them know about it. And I hope I'm going to see you in my next video. It's me, Torogu Pro. Until next time, goodbye.